Could you imagine a world without Instagram, without Twitter, without YouTube, without internet at all? Well, that's kind of how it looked for the Backstreet Boys back in the day. And according to frontman Nick Carter, that was both a good thing and a bad thing. Backstreet's back, all right, with their new residency in Las Vegas, and they opened up in a recent interview with Elle magazine. Looking at pop stars today and what they have to go through in the public eye, Nick says, I'll tell you this, there is some shit that AJ and I both did that I'm really glad social media wasn't around for because Justin Bieber couldn't hold a candle to what we did. You guys, I'm so fascinated. AJ adds, we would have been like TMZ's saving grace, bro. Just anything from me being drunk at a club or me walking naked down the hallway in a hotel for no apparent reason, just random stuff that never really got out. This is so true, you guys, could you imagine, okay? If a fan posted a video of Justin Bieber walking down a hotel hallway naked, it would literally make the internet explode into a million pieces. But then again, there are some upsides for artists these days, especially when it comes to easier promotion. AJ continues, without social media, without YouTube, without instant access, we had to do everything grassroots. We had to do every interview, every radio show, every outlet. We had to go to every country. That was the only way to do it. There was no Instagram or posting things on YouTube to get a record deal. So that's a good point, you guys. For example, Selena Gomez, gets instant promotion for her new series, 13 Reasons Why, just by posting the trailer to her Instagram. That's an automatic 112 million views right there. Okay, now, One Directioners, be prepared. This is the point during the interview when the Backstreet Boys throw shade at 1D. When talking about One Direction concert that he went to, Backstreet member Howie says, but to be honest, to me, it's not as entertaining. What we do is we truly entertain people. Music, staging, dancing, everything. I think that's why we're still here in a lot of ways, because it was always about a show. Regardless, we could always make great music and we could have hits, but whatever we hit the stage, we had to give a show that people would remember, and that stood on its own. Okay, so you're saying that you guys are better performers than Wendy? I mean, I guess I get it, okay? The Backstreet Boys did more full-out choreographed dance routines, but then again, so did NSYNC. I think that that trend in general has just gone out of style a bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? Were the Backstreet Boys better performers than One Direction? And who has it easier in terms of fame? Celebrities before social media or celebrities now? Let me know in those comments. For more entertainment news, click the boxes and make sure to subscribe to Holly Scoop.